Proto V3, my brand new plugin for high energy distortion and glow effects for DaVinci Resolve is available now. Link in the description if you immediately want to jump over there. But I also want to give you a quick rundown of what you get if you choose to download Proto V3. You get a lot and I'm super excited for it. If you purchase through the link in the description, you'll get a download uh, just zipped folder. Once you extract that zip, you'll be able to double click on this to load it into DaVinci Resolve. You should get a pop-up asking if you want to install. I already have it installed, so it's asking me if I want to overwrite, but I don't need to do that. But once you do that, in your effects library, generator, Sterling Supply Co., you'll get Proto V3, drag and drop it on your timeline, and then the fun can begin. Exciting stuff off the bat, 25 included presets, tons of different looks. The uh, variety here is really exciting. And the craziest thing is that Proto itself is like an engine, right? For distortion and glow uh, and, and color and all of that. So all of these different presets are made just by changing the controls you have access to here in the inspector, specifically in these style controls, these core, aura, distortion, color, animation, and glow controls and it will apply that engine to whatever source you select. There's a whole bunch of shapes like lines, rectangles, ellipses, different polygons. You can even draw your own with this poly custom option, as well as text and several different ways of working with images and video. You can use a loader to grab a video file. You can drag and drop anything from your media pool and it will use that as a source or uh, if I get rid of that, go back to my defaults, you can set your source to background. And if I now drag this over that video clip on my timeline and look at that, it is using that video clip to drive the effect. Whatever is beneath it on the timeline, it will pull in. We also have this custom fusion option for people who like using Proto inside uh, their fusion comps. So whatever source you choose, and of course there's more controls, uh, like if you use one of these background sources, you have edge detect controls for specifically how intense you would like these lines to be before they go through this entire process. On something like text or these other shapes, you have outline controls, including the option to pull down this length and then shift this position around. Incredible. This was especially something the last version didn't have. Uh, I really like it. Speaking of things Proto V2 didn't have, uh, these inspector controls, you'll notice as I change this source, it changes what controls are visible in the inspector. And if I toggle on my fusion overlay, where you can interact with these shapes or even like change or add points, uh, this also completely changes based on what source you select. V2 was a mess when it came to, you know, these sorts of overlays and controls. Version 3 is dramatically cleaned up. As well as the ease of that installation, being in DRFX, double click, you're installed. Version 2 had a much more complicated installation because of some of the ways it was built. That's, that's smoothed over in V3 as well. Like I said, these style controls are extremely powerful, choosing the different amounts of distortion can get wild quick, but poking around with those presets will give you a good idea of what direction to work in. And then you have uh, masking, uh, post effect transform controls, and even built in tracking here on the edit page for whatever source you apply Proto to. And because it was specifically requested in early access, by default, the sort of main version of Proto is this generator, which lives kind of just like a title on your timeline. But I also have a dedicated effects version that lives here, over here in effects. Proto V3 effect, drag and drop that right onto your clip, and then we'll use that clip as the source to have some of those same edge detect controls, all of the same style controls, uh, and all 25 presets here as well. There is a whole lot here, which is why I added this little help tab with a link to a full tutorial of all of these controls you have access to. If you're in Fusion and you're stuck, click that button, see if it can help you out. And today I am dropping this announcement video, but actually this full tutorial I will publicly release tomorrow if you want to wait for that you can do we're sort of in this fun proto release week um after that um i am releasing the free version of proto v3 whoa there is of course a bit pulled out of that to make it a worthy jump up to the full version and i think you know i think it's worth it because i made it and i think proto v3 is pretty cool if you do too check the link in the description to head over to the store page um especially if you want you know early access um, to that little, uh, it's like a 40 minute tutorial or something. It's, it's pretty wild, but you know, walks through 
the fun stuff you can do to get some of all of these different looks, uh, especially this poly custom option. Uh, it's cool, it's cool. I will for sure be showing off lots of fusion tips and tricks or proto <laughs> tips and tricks uh, in the future here on the channel, especially like adding it to other effects or doing funky things like using magic mask in the studio version, how to plug that all in. We're gonna keep talking about proto cause it's very exciting, but of course, the big news, Proto V3 is available today. It's been a wild run up. I am so excited. If you are too, absolutely check the link in the description and I will see you tomorrow for more of Proto Week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.